how to resize or change size of a logical disk drive Windows 10. First I show you how my disk is divided, how many partition I have. Right click on start button, then disk management. Here you can see my hard drive. There is primary partition with C drive and extended partition with three logical drives disk E, disk W and disk M. I would like to resize, change size of this of this uh, logical drives. What does it mean to change size? It means decrease size of one drive and increase size of another. So let's do this. Let's decrease E drive by right clicking on E drive and shrink volume. Let's decrease on 100 megabytes and click shrink. Now we have unallocated free space. We would like to add this free space to another logical drive. But what happened? If I right click on my another logical drive, let's say W, I cannot extend this. I only can extend this drive I took the space from. But uh, it doesn't help me. I would like to increase my work drive because I need space there. So what we're going to do? We are going to use a third part program and we are going to download it. It's called Partition Wizard. Let's go to the website. Mini tool partition wizard, click on it. Download now. We can choose free edition. And again, download. Yes, program is downloading now and we are going to install this. Let's run this program. Mini tool partition wizard free version. Click next. Of course, you can read the license agreement, then click next again, choose the path you want to install for me on the C drive is OK, so I click next again, select start menu folder, next create a desktop icon, OK for me, so I hit next and install. program is installed by clicking finish we can launch minimal partition wizard free so we hit finish i close my web uh, browser isn't here come on okay here we have our 
partition wizard. So launch application. As you can see, on the partition wizard, you can see my high drive divided in the same way we can see in disk management. So there is the primary partition with a C drive and extended partition with E, W and M with an allocated space which we are going to add to my work, to my W drive. Okay, I will not need disk management anymore, so I close it. So let's add allocated space to W drive. Let's right click on W drive and hit extend. Now choose unallocated. Here we can slider so we can adjust amount of megabytes. I take maximum, click OK and apply changes. OK, I will check again in disk management if these uh, changes are applied. And yes, there are no more unallocated space. We took 100 megabytes from disk E and put it to disk W. Unfortunately, we can't do this using disk management. Maybe it will be possible to do this in the future, but now we must use uh, another program, just like Minitool Partition Wizard. So uh, please uh, leave the comment, visit my website itesbrook.com and thank you for watching.